G'day painters. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a unit of five intercessors that I recently put together. Uh, it's the first time that I've worked on any Games Workshop miniatures in quite a long time, um, probably five or six years. Uh, I've mostly been looking at other miniature ranges, but I think the last couple years, Games Workshop has really been putting their best foot forward and it's been enough to get me kind of interested in the game again. Um, I've never had Space Marines, uh, I've always kind of shied away from them, so I felt like it was time, um, so I picked up a few boxes and, and got going. Uh, I really wanted to do a green scheme for this army because I don't really have much in the way of green in my um, collection, so I decided to go for a theme based around the Aurora chapter, um, basically because they're green. <laughs> Uh, so I used oil paints uh, quite extensively on these uh, minis. It's the first time I've really used them, so we're going to take a bit of a look at that process. Um, so the, the oil paint preparation is quite important um, and it is quite extensive in the time it takes just to set your palette up. Um, cleaning and managing your brushes and thinning your paints um, is just a bit more involved than it is with uh, acrylics. So um, it was a, a large learning experience and after this project, it was good to sort of get started, but I'm still learning a lot every time I'm using oil paints. Now I'm learning as I go, I'm trying to gain better control of the paint. Um, a big part of that is your consistency. So as you can see here, I'm thinning it with a, a medium, which is um, basically a solvent-based thinner. So you can't thin these paints with water. Um, and it's really important to get the right consistency. So these paints that I'm using from Art Spectrum, which are based in Australia and Melbourne, they're very, they're fine artist paints and they're very, very thick. So um, I have them <clears throat> for art supplies on canvas works and I thought I'd try them on miniatures and they're going okay, but I think they are maybe too thick to handle on miniatures, but they do still allow for some very nice blending techniques. So that's what we're going to start having a look at is basically how to build up the coats and how the, how to blend them together. So the thing with oil paints is, in particular these ones, they stay wet for a really long time. So if you if you apply it too um, too thickly and then start to move it around the surface, it can often have trouble actually sticking to the surface of the miniature. So that's where getting that right consistency comes in. Um, as you can see here, I'm just trying to um, work in the, the blocking of the shadows and the highlights and the midtones, um, so sort of putting them all in place with um, a consistency of paint that I, I think will work for blending. Um, sometimes when you go back to blend and the paint kind of slides off where you don't want it, you can let it dry and maybe just reapproach it again, or you can continue to work it if you if you clean the surface and then and work it again. So now I'm beginning to blend the colors through one another. Um, now this is the where the magic happens, I guess, with these paints. Because they stay wet for such a long time, um, you, you can blend the colors on the miniature. So you can take a clean brush and then pull the colors through one another. So you can see there with that blue and the green, um, kind of smearing them through to create a smooth transition on the miniature here on the leg as well. I am still learning this this technique and throughout this project I had some hits and misses um, and I'm just giving you a brief overview of the project so you can get a bit of a feel for what working with oil paints is like. It's definitely a different technique. I don't know if I'll use it extensively in the future. Um, I think acrylics are always going to have a very strong um, use in miniature painting, uh, but on some surfaces and depending on the type of uh, look you're going for on the miniature, 
on these Space Marines, I wanted very uh, smooth gradients across large panels done basically on a large scale across an entire army. And so I think they're quite suitable for this application. Uh, I can see myself working, you know, an entire army like this and using acrylics um, where I need to basically pull out details. Uh, so here is just working on the, the non-metallic metal of the bolters. Uh, I wanted to make them look very, uh, very blue. So I was shading that blue and white together, uh, picking out some of the edge highlights. Uh, this is, this is where the oils are really fun. I think at this point, uh, the first coat was dry and I was going back in with the second coat. And when you put just a little bit of white along the edge, you can take your clean brush and really just smooth it, um, smooth it in so that it has like a, a nice kind of approach into the edge highlight and it's not just a stark line. I think it sells that kind of high gloss reflective look a little bit more. Uh, this is just uh, some of the uh, other little details in the miniature. So this is actually acrylic paint because I just found that I was getting the look I liked more <clears throat> out of the purple. So this is uh, one that I did earlier just as a scheme, orange bases. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and assemble some of the bases. So I've been using cork sheet and uh, just this little, uh, I'm not even sure where I got this or found this. It's just some metal, um, some wire mesh, uh, which I thought has been looking nice for this kind of wasteland appearance. Uh, just putting it all together and here mixing up. Um, so this is called Agnew's water putty. It's basically a woodworking putty. Um, I've been using this for years and I love it. Uh, I just add some pebbles and some sand in there to give it some extra texture as well. Basically um, carpenters would use this to fill gaps in uh, timber. Um, but I think find that it makes a really great basing material. You just mix water to it. Um, and depending on how much water you mix controls basically the consistency. It dries in about 30 minutes maybe uh, and here just you know putting it on the base and and working it to kind of go for an organic blobby effect i wanted these bases to be primarily one color um, one kind of texture so in this next step where i begin to apply some pigment um, that's where i build up that really strong orange that contrasts the the green of the space marines um, as with the miniatures, I've been focusing on one source of lighting, so the sun. So on the left side of the bases, I use the dark brown pigment. And then in this stage is where it really pops on the right side of the base. I use an orange pigment, um, which when you see them in person, it's just is really vibrant. Um, and I think has an eye catching appearance for the army. Uh, I always imagine if y your army is at a tournament like what would draw someone to it. And I, f I f find that the basing is actually um, one of those elements. You can see just how vibrant that looks. And we also smear it um, onto the miniatures. So I airbrush a layer of uh, airbrush, uh, sorry, a, a layer of um, pigment fixer, uh, and then just come and apply it to the legs of the miniature, just in a bit of a random fashion. Uh, and so this will stick. I also matte varnish the miniatures afterwards to make sure that if people are touching it, they're not going to be getting pigment on their hands. I wanted to really heavily dust the bottom parts of their legs um, to give that effect that the, the area that they're in is, or the planet that they're on is very dusty. Um, and while they haven't been there for a very long amount of time, they've still had their, their power armor covered in the dust of the, of, of the planet. So uh, just picking out some of those details, this was an uh, oil paint. Uh, and this was really fun, this part, just taking a very diluted oil paint and putting it over the pigment um, to, to build up some of the shadows in the darkest areas of the bases. Uh, you can see they're just going in. And I believe I went back and just um, blended those out a little bit as well, just with some um, diluted paint. And here as well, just um, on, on the miniatures themselves, just pulling back some of those details in the feet because I still wanted to give that impression of the shadow uh, there in the power armor. Just popping the final one uh, on the base. 
So thank you for checking out this video. Uh, it's not really intended as a tutorial more, it's just a way for me to share some of the work that I have been doing uh, with the outside world. Uh, as I said, still learning so much about oil paints. So if you, feel, uh, if you feel interested in having a go at them, I encourage you to check them out. Um, but mostly I hope that you enjoy just um, taking a little bit of a look at the work that I've been doing. I will be posting some more videos of the Aurora chapter. So please, if you're interested in checking them out, the next video will be uh, librarian. So like and subscribe to this channel if you would like to see work in progress on the next project. So thank you very much. I'll see you next time.